Okay. Well, let's continue. If you're watching later on YouTube, as always, thanks for clicking. Hope you're enjoying. I made some Japanese Sencha green tea, and it has strawberry flavor to the tea. So it's like a Japanese strawberry Sencha tea. Green tea. It's good. It smells nice. Oh, this is bad. I think this is gonna... No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I only need to get it to this station. Alright, we're okay. No, don't go back, don't go back. It is, it is fancy. But I like the tea. So I'm happy, it's no deaths, even though I've had to do some some combat, that's probably the most combat I've done in a while. <laughs> I had to fight a white Lionel, and also a Talus, a fire Talus, and the previous shrine had, like, what? Seven guardians? Something like that? Man. But, you know what? Got through it. No deaths. I'm surprised just running past them worked, though, when there was those... those three at the end. Tea is too hot to drink right now, but I, I can smell it. It's it's super good. Just want to make sure there's nothing here. We'll also be getting more Zelda over the weekend because of the long weekend. I did I didn't realize I had one. So again, I have a Monday and Tuesday off. Eh, despite that only recently happening. But I'll use that time to just not stress about going to bed. That's pretty much it. I think this perimeter is pretty much done. And then I'll head to where the memory is. Okay, I got I got temp health. It's fine, it's fine. That's what it's there for. The house sitting for three dogs, so it's surprisingly calm. It depends on the dog. Some dogs can be chill.
My aunt has a dog that takes like five steps and then it plops down and takes a nap for like 30 seconds and gets back up. Walks another five steps, then plops down. And you can you can pick him up. He's like a baby. If you pick him up, he just falls asleep in your 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 arms. Just laziest dog. It's not even an old dog. It's just the energy that dog has. Area shouldn't be too bad to do all the Koroks in. I think this is another one of these ones that's pretty short, from what I remember. Let me look. Okay, just keep going straight ahead. Ah. Uh... Uh, it depends how much of a detour that is. I'm kind of in a prime spot to go get it. Because no matter where it is, I'm on the high ground, so I just float down there and I should be able to get it. But it's just... I would have to come back up here. I do need to get them because they're required to upgrade the hero armor. Do you know what I learnt of today? <laughs> that is... is a thing. There's something... it's like a food gimmick thing, but it's... A place is doing this thing called a pizza bomb. And the best way to describe it is, if you've ever seen, um... These chocolate skulls that they light on fire. And then the chocolate melts, and then there's like a dessert on the inside. It's kind of like that, except they light this thing that looks like a ball of dough. And then they kind of slice the top half of it off, and then on the inside is your, your pizza. And it just, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> it's just one of those things where I'm like, dude, just have a normal pizza. That's probably infinitely better. Do what, you, you want to see, you want to see it? Hang on, I'll, I'll find it. Pictures worth a thousand words, but... Let's see if I can find it. Okay, I'm gonna be lazy and not find the TikTok video, but I know where I saw it. I was watching a stream, and the streamer will have it. I'll just mute it. Um... That way, you know, I'm not, um, <laughs> plagiarizing content. Oh, it's got the TikTok URL here. Okay. Hang on. 
Stand by. That, okay. That's such a weird name, but sure. It's Bomb, Bomb Pizza. That's the one. Got it. Okay, I found it, chat. Um, I'll I'll mute it because there's music playing, and you know we don't want DMCA. But I'll I'll uh, I'll indulge you with this this creation, and you you tell me what you think. Okay. Check this out. So, I mean, look look at let's just look at this thing to begin with. It's just it looks like just this ball of dough. I don't know, man. That doesn't look appetizing to me, but let's just, just watch, you know? It gets lit on fire. I'm not sure why. Like, to cook it, maybe? But it would already have to be partially cooked. Like, this wouldn't be the full cooking process. It's just... What is this doing that putting it in a pizza oven wouldn't? Right? So, how do you eat this, you might ask? Well, then they take scissors... And then they just slice off this thing, the dome part of it, which it's, I, I hate to say it, but it's almost like a blister. And then there's, there's your pizza underneath, which by the way, it just, it looks like goop. Just, I don't know. This is one of these things that's just become super trendy. And, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's going to be twice more expensive than a standard pizza and probably isn't it good. Why is it great? I don't, I don't know. That's the dough color. So, I mean, they poured something on it. I, I would assume it's like a liqueur of sorts and then, you know, it lights it on fire. Waste of dough. Yeah, exactly. Whereas in, with the chocolate skull, the chocolate at least melts on top of your dessert, so it doesn't go to waste. But it, it's basically that concept where you're lighting food on fire. But the difference here is they're lighting it on fire, I'm not sure for what reason. And then they just cut away the part that makes it unique, and then underneath it's something that doesn't look... Doesn't look nearly as good as a, a properly made pizza. I don't know. Uh, thoughts? <laughs> would you would you try that? I don't know. I, I don't think I would. Oh shit! It's on Death Mountain. Anyway, I was watching, uh, Vinny's stream, Vine Source, and, yeah, his chat got him to watch that, so that's, that's where I found out about it. Just, credit where credit is due, the pizza abomination came from that stream. He's, uh, an Italian New Yorker, and it seems chat has taken a vested interest in presenting him with the worst pizza creations known to humankind. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm not trendy either. anyone would want that. <laughs> I am dumbfounded. 
Um, I'm going towards that, even though I know that there's probably a Korok down there. In fact, there is. I can see it already. I'll just come back. I don't know, man. I I've just been seeing cursed food lately. I still haven't gotten an explanation for the, the fries from Sydney. The gummy fries. It was just... I don't know. That one, I, I... I don't know what, why, why. It just seems like two food combinations that just don't go together. And I thought for a sec it would be an April Fool's joke. Really? 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 Uh, can I- can I just not get this? Uh, so, that's cool. I mean, it's- it's here. Okay, now I can get it. I just have to suffer a little. Nope, I can't. <laughs> ah! Oh, come on, man. It's- it's right there. Can- can I not- can I blast it out? Oh, this is so sad. This this only happens to me. This only happens to me. I got struck by lightning. <laughs> now the shooting star. Is it is it moving? Oh, that's so I the only way I can think of getting it is, like, jumping in and then... Got it! Alright, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it! <laughs> I got it. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Acquired. Took a bit of effort, but acquired. Okay, I need to go back the way I came, because there was a Korok there, and I just... I skipped over it just to get this thing in time. Dude, it's used for upgrading. Wait, is this... Oh, this is another one of these. Okay. It's not a star from the dragons. It's just a shooting... It's just a shooting star. It's a separate thing. It's just randomly at night they'll fall and they'll land somewhere and then you have to go get them before day breaks. And mine just happened to land just three steps into lava. Because of course it did. Another yaha ha. Okay, hang on. This is probably something. Yeah, good stuff. Careful. This one's gonna be across the bones. Uh. Forget how you do this one. Yeah, like this. Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Three eleven. Ha! 
slowly losing the health. It's okay. Uh, okay. I'll walk up here. I'm probably going to end up on that shrine on the right. Please. It was around here. Where was it? Oh yeah, there. Okay. It's just a little bit further ahead. There's the... <laughs> There's the sound effect. Eventually I'll just be able to turn it off. And make a track something else. Oh shit, it's this way. <laughs> Hang on, do over, do over, do over. I went the wrong way. See, what you're supposed to do is use these boxes to get across, and I'll probably have to use them to get out, but. Quarim! Drink some of my tea, I think, now. Ah, yeah. Good temperature. Okay, I can take off the armor here. It's not necessary. I am Quarim. Yeah, look. Right, where's the end goal? The end goal is over there. Okay. Wow, this is a very complicated looking puzzle. Lots of uh, moving parts. Lots of moving parts. Just 
trying to see what's the starting point. Wait, so that's not even something I can grab. What can I grab? Huh. Did nothing. It's a bit strange that it didn't get the barrels. Yet it got what was above it. How did, how did that work? <laughs> I don't understand how that worked. It didn't destroy the barrel somehow? Okay, look. A little bit of desperation on my part. Okay, yeah, 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 no, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Okay, don't, don't get destroyed. I mean, I could spend all day trying to balance it, or I can just do this. <laughs> the death counter, is that how many I've had or allowed to have? That's how many times I've died throughout the whole playthrough. I can have as many deaths as I want. There's there's a pool, there's a pet, there's uh, people predicting how many I'll have before the end of it. So, if, I mean, if you want to predict, how many times you think I'll die before the end of it? Feel free. I'm not gonna write it down. Kind of like, uh, you know, guess how many jelly beans are in the jar except it's death. <laughs> 6969. I mean, if you want that to be a serious answer, I'll write it down.
it's up to you. If you want, <laughs> if you want that to be the prediction, let me know. Oh crap! Right, I'm on fire. I need to put this back on. You want 42, but already passed it. Oh, I guess think realistically, because. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff that can get me killed. That's still to come, that's the thing. Like, Trial of the Sword, that's gonna be an ordeal, and I'm gonna have health for that. There's no way I'm getting that first try, like, that took me multiple streams to do. I mean, equivalent in hours, the first time around. It's just not something I'm gonna get done easily. Honestly, kind of amazed I haven't died today, given what I've done so far. Uh, let me just check where I am for a sec. Okay, I'm too far ahead. There's there's a memory spot along here. Wait, let me just double check. Yeah, so the river's in the background, and we need to be able to see... Um, the trees. Don't jinx it. I mean... I've survived so much. I'm fine if I die once, and honestly just dying once is, is a big deal given what I've done. But I can't predict these things, like I could get struck by lightning again. I do find it funny that I, I died to lightning before I died to a white Lionel. I have, <laughs> I'm one for one on a white Lionel. First try, no death. Lightning, yeah, got hit by lightning randomly. Without wearing anything. Okay, let's see. There, yep, so there's the... Okay, it needs to be a little further along. We'll go down here. I'll look for the memory. It's the most annoying one, and since I'm here, I may as well. If someone guesses the deaths perfectly, I'll give a prize. I doubt you'll be able to do it, but you know. Obviously, I'm gonna not allow any more entries after a certain point, but because this is still pretty early, where the numbers will fluctuate a lot. <laughs> 420, confirm he's got 420. So you can't guess the same as another person. No, I mean, alright, specifically parts that I know I'm gonna die a lot. Um, Thunder Blight Ganon, that fight sucks. I hate it. I'm gonna die there quite a bit. When I go get the motorcycle, the process to get that, I'm gonna die quite a bit. Trial of the Sword, gonna die quite a bit. G Ganon, probably won't die. Maybe once. But Ganon did not cause me any problems. So, that's just going off for the first time I played this. And then everything else is kinda, well, how many times am I gonna fight Golden Lionels and all that stuff? 
I will fight them. I will fight them. It's just... Not yet. I don't think they've even started appearing yet, so... Okay, let's look at our reference point. I think it's still a little further. Wait, this might be one here. I think we're close to where the memory is. Yeah, this this looks about right. There's the lake, the trees in the background, castle here, so it's somewhere around here. Towers were pretty busy, but there was just a lot of talking and planning mainly. Sometimes that's that's all I do. <laughs> so I have to talk and plan and listen. Can't complain. But it's, uh, it's busy times at work. This is one of these things that is just around here. I just need to find the specific spot. I think it's up there, potentially. I mean, I, I find my job fun, but, you know, I understand that <laughs> sometimes what I'm making it's fundamentally boring, but... I, yeah, I mean, my job's in UX, for those that don't know. It's like... People make our product, and then I have to be like, okay, this is what it should look like. This is how it should work. And, yeah, it's just that, pretty much. I used to build stuff quite a bit, but that's become less of the case. I haven't done that in like about five years now. That's why when um, I'm playing a game and something is egregious when it comes to like, uh, I don't know. Like, a gameplay mechanic, or maybe you have to do too many steps to do something, or, like, the interface of a game sucks. It, it bothers me on a whole other level. Like, Animal Crossing, I, I cannot... I love that game, but... It's like... Nails on a chalkboard sometimes when something simple as like buying things in multiple quantities is just, it's not, it's not a thing. You have to talk to the character six, seven times in a row. Or, I don't know, having to play a game with a hairdryer because they thought, yep, everything has to use the microphone as input. Stuff like that. 
where anyone trying it would be like, hey, like, this is not a good idea. This this doesn't work well. There are, there are times when you're using the microphone, it's cool and it's awesome. But for this thing specifically here, it kind of sucks. We should probably just make it a button. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there you go. It's right there. Wait, what? Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Potentially three. Two. Yeah, so, you know, uh, graphic design nerd right here. Alright, let's see the memory. I don't know. I don't talk about work too much. Watch the expression on his face with the Korok mask. It's great. <laughs> it just... It removes the impact of the scene. <laughs> that cut doesn't look too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. It seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, I mean, damn, look at how many Lionels he took out. intensifying as well. I fear that... I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And, if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. I will say she looks a lot better in Tears of the Kingdom, what they've shown so far. I mean, the hair alone is as much better in Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, that's done. Um, yeah, I guess continue along here. Do I have a, the amiibo cards? I do, but I'm not going to use them. Because it would defeat the purpose of what I'm doing. The only one I've used is just the one to get a Pona. But once I got the motorcycle, never using the horse again. So it's like, it doesn't matter. I don't like the horse, but having one extra stamina bar is, is fine. I mean, the cards are definitely less cumbersome. But, you know, they're not... They're not something I'm sure Nintendo would be happy about. And I certainly don't, enc don't encourage using them. They were uh, a gift. And I would hate to uh, spit in the face of the person that gave me them. So it, it's it's a uh, it's a social pressure. That's the reason I'm using them. It's now. Nintendo has had a propensity to like start removing content.
that they don't agree with, so I'll just say that. Please, please don't take content down. Purchase the amiibos, chat. The real ones. They just did it to point crack. Yeah, that's what I was referencing. And, and you know, I'm not, I'm not going to talk much about it, but... Just in the way they did it to him, just splitting up the uh, the complaint so it gave him two copyright strikes. That's it's pretty scummy. It's definitely like a like a oh you know you wouldn't want us to give you a third one, right? You better watch what you do from now on. Yeah, it's it's blackmail without, you know. It's one of those things that's just it would be a real shame if you were to get a third strike. But yeah, I don't know. The th the thing with his case is just like the reason they're going after him is because at the end of the day he plays mods. And that's that's the thing. It's the only way to play it is on, on non-Nintendo hardware, or like you're doing something dodgy that they don't agree with, and that's the, that's the problem. You could be well within your rights in terms of modding. I mean, I don't know the law, right? I'm not a lawyer. But Nintendo is also within their rights to argue, well, the act of modding, just to be able to do what he's doing... He's not, you know, telling people, hey, go pirate, but if you see something cool enough, you're going to look into how it's done, and I guess that's that's the problem. But, you know, the fact that they got him on stuff that wasn't modded and was just vanilla content, that just sucks. Who got me the gift? It doesn't matter. If I told you, you wouldn't know them. That's no point in saying... Just someone. They know who they are. Because if I say who, then the follow-up question is, oh, oh, who are they? It looks like there's... That's prob... Oh, it looks like it's a base, but there's probably stuff. You know what? I'm going to look at this map, because sometimes you can... Well, for example, that is... Damn it. Hold on. I, gotta... I forgot to turn off hero mode. Like, that is probably a point of interest. And see how you can see dotted lines? That... Those are rock formations, so you can kind of... Spot out where you need to go. There's another rock formation. Every time I decide to do this, I've been thorough enough not to need it to do it. I should get, I should get at least one from this. Oh, yeah, see, this is an interesting shrine, that one. 
There's someone that's in the dark and you need to be stealth. Trust me to have done all the ones that are marked. I need to do this the moment I get the tower, because that's when it's the most useful. Okay, see that? There's a there's a spot. That is definitely one. Uh, this is probably one too. That's just the god, the, uh, divine base, sorry. So that shouldn't matter. There's definitely some around the springs, but there's no formation that I can see. Alright, good enough for now. Oh crap, stamina. <laughs> Whoops. Ow. That's okay, I don't think there's anything here. This is just a base. La 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 la, you can't see me. I'm gonna continue along and then I'll head to that star point that I marked. Which I think is just a hot spring, but we'll see. What's this forest? Okay, I've already been down there, so. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Wait, this isn't anything? I guess it'll be ore. Yeah, for cooking. Oh man, if I have to collect, collect 900 of these things again. 
I re I really hope it's not the case. They wouldn't. Do it. There's no way they would do it. Just they would have to be doing something different. There's no way they're gonna make us get 900 Koroks again. Especially since people were not happy with the reward that you get for it. It's it's not a great reward, chat. In fact, I'm not even sure why I'm I'm doing it. Other than to say, yes, completionism. But it's it's not it's not a good reward. Yeah, so this was a Korok. Uh Okay, cool. It's another downhill one. We're fine. Link. In your goal. That's it. Yes. <laughs> How many is that now? Three, one, four. Uh, I can remove the marker I put. I can't wait. At the end, Hestu's just gonna dance for 20 minutes, pretty much. When I go redeem everything. That's just, he just, yeah, back to back dancing for 20 minutes. You're gonna get that song stuck in your head, the one that he does. Gone to the lower lake. All right, I'm gonna have to do that. I guess the scary thing about the YouTube thing that's going on with Nintendo is just if they start doing stuff like taking down videos that are of people doing playing fan games that yeah it's not great because that there are things that like for example randomizers they're considered mods and they're a pretty big thing um, in terms of uh keeping a game alive long after it's had its heyday. I think the problem with that guy, Point Crow, was just chose to do Breath of the Wild. Which, very smart from a content perspective, but I think right now in the lead-up to their new game, they probably would be putting extra attention on it. Whereas in for something like, say, A Link to the Past or one of the older ones, they probably wouldn't care as much. But, yeah, I don't know. 
I've said this before, Nintendo makes some of my favorite games of all time. And a lot of fun memories with their stuff, but man. I, I don't know what it is, they just... They just do these things sometimes. Like almost Disney lawyer level of things. What? Oh, how did that miss? Come on, that was in the circle. <laughs> I call bullshit. I want video instant replay. I want the judges to rejudge. Slow motion decision. This what I think it is? Why does this look weird? What is this? Oh no, oh, okay. You, you, you just bit. Yep. You saw that, right? That was. That's just a, like a, a fuck you right there. No one was up there, stone was perfectly stationary, and then the moment I go down there, game is like, alright, send it down! <laughs> Except this time, I wasn't running up the hill. Do it again? No. That's okay, that, you know what the magic of, uh, of Twitch is, is that if you miss a moment, you can you can always watch the VOD later. And because I am dedicated to you, the, the chat member, right? I also upload them on YouTube later. So you can watch it again at your own convenience. In fact, you can rewind it and watch it over and over again if you really want to. That's just a small sacrifice I make. So that you don't miss out on a thing. Sounds like effort. Well. Wow. 
If it's anything like the Zora domain ones, it'll it'll be there when I go back in a minute. See what I have to do to be thorough here? Okay, I'm dropping down to the lake again. to be another one come on is that really the, yep that's really the one okay the ooh ooh this is gonna suck I need to find a way to get it across okay all right seems fine my tea, otherwise it's gonna be cold. Yeah. I was pretty much done with it anyway. It's the one downside of having tea is just... It reaches a temperature where it's not good. It's like hot tea, great. Ice cold tea, also great. Anything in between, eh. <laughs> Something that's been on my mind, because talked about it recently, was... Cheese. It's one thing that... I haven't really ever done is had I call it fancy cheese but it's not really fancy cheese it's like the concept of a cheese platter that has cheese beyond your, your standard what you get at a supermarket right stuff that you might have like some cold cuts or something I need to find someone that's well versed on the subject and give recommendations and to try it because I've just been thinking about that. Like having a, a meat and cheese platter and then watching a movie. It's one of those things where uh, I could very well just go to the store and just gamble. But if I get it wrong, man, I'm going to regret it. Well, 
like a charcuterie board, yeah, charcuterie, yeah, that board, yes. Cheese, crackers, maybe some salami or something. I definitely would have twiggy sticks, which I like, I've talked about them before. And then maybe some dips. Twiggy sticks, yeah, they're... I'm pretty certain they're an Australian thing. I've talked about them. They visually look like, um, like jerky sticks. But they're not jerky. It's... they, they have to be refrigerated. But, you know, they're, they're smoked and, uh... They're available in, like, a, sa a spicy version and a non-spicy version and... They're pretty good. An adult launchable. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, adult launchable. I like that. But I don't. I just. I just want one. You know. It's just the idea has been put in my head a few times. Not just here, but but i think the the hurdle is the cheese is just what what do what what are good cheese go get one the pre-made one i think most of the pre-made ones they have at the supermarket they have boring cheese on it it's like you know, Australian tasty cheese, uh, what is it, Colby and cheddar. It's just, that's usually what's on them. And I want to go beyond that. That's the goal, is like, non-standard cheese. That's the problem, is like, I could, I could get a pre-made one. That's fine. But it doesn't, it's not scratching that itch where I just want that sense of trying something different. No, fancy. <laughs> fancy. Stuff that you can raise a pinky finger to. I don't know. And I say fancy, not like you know, super expensive, right? That's not what I mean at all. Fancy in the context of like I'm comparing it to fucking craft singles or whatever, you know, sliced cheese. They get in shrink wrap. <laughs> like, the next level above that, right? Hard cheese, parmesan, gouda, siago, firm cheese, gria. Okay. Of everything you put there, what would what would you recommend, Colin? If you were to pick three from that list, which would be three that would be great, right? Does feta count as a, as a fancy cheese? I mean, I've had feta, right? That that was like a staple growing up because we lived near a, a factory where they made it. So feta is something I've definitely had. Feta is very salty, though. It's good. I've had it before. You don't like it? It's good in, in soup. You still put it on bean soup, but like... A, uh... Sometimes a very common breakfast for us was like a... A tortilla my mum would make, and then we put a slice of feta cheese on top, and that was it. That was breakfast. You lived in Cyprus as a kid, it was in everything. Ah, okay. 
Ja, ik heb haar. Parmesan, Gria, or Colby. Okay, Colby is the one that's like in everything here, so I wouldn't go Colby just because it's it's overused here. Gria. Okay. Parmesan, I suppose, a good one. I yeah, I can get on board with that because I don't think I've had you proper. I've had the powdered stuff. Which I'm not sure is even real, but, you know. That's, uh, yeah. That'd be a step up. Okay. Helpful. Oh, none of these things do attack, wow. I'll be fancy with cheese now. I need a wine to go with it. I mean, Australian wine is considered fancy. I've heard there's, there's a trend where hipsters in America are using Australian wine quite a bit. Like, there's some massive industry that's sprung because of it. But, I mean, outside of that, you know, I'm pretty clueless when it comes to wine. Okay, if the platter was cheese, let's say, some smoked ham, my twiggy stick things, which are effectively cured pork, smoked pork, um, and some salami. I'll, I'll find it, but, like, I remember reading an article, um... It's- it's ri it's bizarre, right? But like... Let me find it. Give me a sack. Oh, I'd, ha I'd have to remember the article, but it was just talking about how was, this particular type of Australian wine was something that was just, uh, was just kind of being a thing. I don't know why. Um, Is Australian wine red or white? Both. I believe Chardonnay is like the one that's, uh, the most well-known. Like, do a lot, a lot of different stuff here. I'll, I'll have to find it. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember right now. But yeah, I mean, otherwise, ignoring that, you know, clean slate, what would you get? Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll definitely look, just when the next time there's, there's a little bit of a lull. I'm also actively trying to think back, like, where, where did I see that article? Um, what was the title of it? what website, and as soon as I have that, I'll be able to, to track it down. It's just... 
Ha-ha! <laughs> Okay. Okay, if you're going to have one of those boards, charcuterie boards, what type of movie would you watch? I guess that's the other thing, is like, I gotta get genre of movie correct. Something that's appropriate for it. I feel like if I had a, one of those and just watched One Piece or something, that'd be a bit weird. Yep. If I have a cheese and meat platter just to watch One Piece. Wait, there are shrooms up here? Weird. Anyway. You would watch an anime. Oh, well then I'm in the clear then. <laughs> I can just watch anime. <laughs> if I'm not the only one doing it, then it makes me feel better. It's like, oh, someone else thought to do it as well. So that's fine. Why not? I don't know. Someone might be like, really? Like, you you go to the effort of making yourself a platter and that's what you choose to watch? I'm in um, Australia's wine state, effectively. There's like an entire valley you can go visit and they do wine tours and all, all that fancy stuff. I mean, other states do wine, but I think our state is known for having the most... You have a winery out east. Never gone there. I've been to a winery once as part of a uh, engagement thingy. It was nice. It's very scenic. If I do 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 this, I'll I'll take pictures of it. <laughs> I don't really have a fancy plate though, so it'll probably just be on just a standard plate. I don't have anything as a presentation plate. Shit! Now I gotta make it presentable. You know what, this weekend might be the right time to do it, because it's a long weekend. I'll see how I am on Friday, if I wrap up work at a, at a good time. I can go buy stuff.
Why is it a long weekend? Um, effectively, it's called uh, Anzac Day, which is um, it's remembering the veterans of uh, World War One and Two. So Anzac is the Australian New Zealand Army Corps. So there's a moment of silence um, observed nationwide. So that's on the Tuesday, and then. Because I hate going to work and then having a day off and then having to go back to work. I just uh, use some personal leave to take the Monday off as well. So. That's why I have the long weekend. But most people do that anyway. It's just, if they have it, they'll do it. Uh, I guess just keep going up the hill. You yeah, have Memorial Day in May. Yeah, it's very similar. I couldn't remember the name of the holiday, but that's the one I was thinking of. That's your next day off? Yeah, right. Yeah, after this, it's the Queen's birthday, which is not the actual Queen's birthday. And then I have no public holidays for three months. You go from January to the end of May with no days off. Man, I thought we had it rough with three months. That's that's longer. going along the shelf because they might you can see that there's stuff along here <laughs> you're almost there yeah hang in there what what day in may is, is uh memorial day oh no my stone smasher it's almost broken no i'd like the stone smasher it's a good weapon. I think they're just lying around Goron City, though. May 29, okay. I was just wondering how close it was to Tears of the Kingdom's release. I'd be pretty sick if it released. <laughs> and it was like a long weekend and you could enjoy the game or watching the game. I'm just happy it comes out on a Friday. That's great. Ah, my stone smasher. Okay, well, that's the sign to turn around. Mm -mm. Do you have any plans for the that long weekend? I mean, when it's that far away, man, I, I would definitely be thinking, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Or not do. <laughs> like, I'd be planning on either doing something or planning on not doing something. Which is still planning. You do barbecues? Okay. That's cool. They do, um... Because this is what happens here is, like... So there's certain public holidays that are fixed. So, for example, this mem Memorial Day thing for us, Anzac Day. It falls on a certain Tuesday. I forget what number, but, you know, it's always on a, a certain Tuesday. 
So it the date changes every year. But then there are other ones where um, they'll have... So for example, for Christmas Day, if Christmas falls on a, on a Saturday or a Sunday, they have a replacement day public holiday on the Monday. So you still get the public holiday. So it's not a case of, well, if you're not working Saturday or Sunday, sucks for you. How do I identify that? I guess not. Wait, that's pool opening day, so everyone opens their pools for the holiday and barbecue. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we have pools here, but... I guess they're not as big of a deal, because... Beaches are uh, in relatively close proximity. Christmas falls on a Saturday, you get Friday off, and on a Sunday, you get Monday off. Oh, okay. See, that? I like that better. Here, it's just whatever the next available work day is. It's in the skull, I believe. I just need to float in there and not fall into the lava. It sucks if it falls on the Wednesday. Yeah, middle of the week. You don't do Boxing Day in America, do you? It's like a British thing. Which, by extension, we get in Australia. Yeah, they don't do Boxing Day in America, but they do Thanksgiving, which is... Yeah. It's earlier, but that's that's something they do. Um, that's unique. Do we do Thanksgiving? No. I was just saying, it's, it's unique to America, because... It's got to do with the history of your country, right? So there's no reason for Australians to celebrate it. I should have saved here. I should I should save. Just in case I use too many arrows. So, you know, you don't get Boxing Day, but at, at least you have that. I mean, b like, Boxing Day is... No one takes it seriously. It's just... There's nothing special you do on it, really, right? Whereas, at least Thanksgiving, there's, like, a... A semblance of unity in the sense of, you know, getting together with loved ones, that sort of shit. I kind of like that more than just, oh, it's just this thing. That I'm not even sure why we have it. I'm sure there's a reason. Okay, I'm gonna load. That's too many arrows. Lots of food and turkey. See, I'm all about the chicken. Um, every year in our family for Christmas, the older people, so, you know, parents, uncles, grandparents, um, they all want a turkey. But everyone else, the younger, they're not even, we're not even kids, right? But, you know, conceptually kids in the context of the older people. We want chicken. It's just one of those things that you can make turkey nice. You can. I'm not saying you can't make turkey nice. But to me, even the best cooked turkey is still... When you compare it to chicken, it's dry. I don't, like, I can eat the turkey. I can eat the turkey. It's not. I'm not saying I don't like it, right? It, that's not it at all. But if given a choice between chicken and turkey, I'll take the chicken every time. But for that, I get it. Thanksgiving is Turkey Day. I get it. 
but just talking about like my experience with Christmas and the uh, the parents and the aunt and all that wanting turkey when everyone else wants chicken. Oh, this is annoying. You eat turkey for the rest of that week. Yeah, I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to do it. But that's, that's just me. It's personal preference. I need to... This one sucks. A little bit higher. Really? If I get it, I'm just I'm just figuring out the reference point, I'll redo it. I think I'm too high. Maybe. Let's try the But see that that to me looks like it's falling short. Right, see so that hit there. Okay, so that one okay, that was more close, so it's like about here. A little higher. Hang on. Nah, I don't think it's lower. I'm going up here. That one looked really close. Because it's gyro aim as well, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, you have to do it from here. It's from where the fan is. If you step off it, it disappears. Well. Oh my god. See, it was a pie! <laughs> but I'm gonna redo it. That's that's way too many arrows for just one little Korok. Alright, I have I have roughly the spot. I just I don't wanna waste Okay, so it's like loosely there. Nearly. Almost. It's kind of annoying. Off it. Oh my god. I don't want to waste ten. I don't want to waste the bow and I don't want to waste the arrows. If I don't get it in ten shots, I'm restarting it. Oh, this is painful. Come 
No. Yeah, that one went over. Alright. Showmanship. This isn't showmanship. I just... I don't want to waste that many arrows on one thing. Very close. This is one of the worst ones. It, it just... It, it doesn't... It doesn't... It doesn't work the way you think it would. Oh, come on. <sighs> Waiting until the last arrow to hit it. Yeah, that's totally what that was. Oh, nearly. It sucks because I can't make a reliable frame of reference. Okay, that, that was better. That was better. But I'm still not going to accept it. <laughs> it's still too many shots. I just, if I can get it in the first 10 shots I fire, I'll be happy. Because that's, that's, I think, acceptable. It doesn't wear down the bow durability. Okay, let me... Okay, so, and then... Come on, come on, you dick. No, that's, that's a miss. Nearly. That's off. Oh. Ah! Come on, that was so close. Oh! Come on, how painful is this to watch? There we go. Good enough. Good enough. That's better. I can accept that. <laughs> You're groaning and gargling with annoyance. No. I mean, are you frustrated that I can't get it or frustrated for me? Anyway, that's that's good enough. That's good enough. I, I didn't wear down the boat too much and I didn't waste, like, 20, 30 arrows trying to do it. For me, yeah. It's it's definitely one of the harder ones to do. Okay, it's done. Okay, so I'm gonna go along here. Alright, this area here, and then look around here. The, there's, there's a bunch of stuff here. It's, it's a pretty involved area. But you know what? I like this area. You know why? Because there's no rain. You can freely explore, and there's nothing hindering you from exploration. It's just... Do what you want to do. There's no rain whatsoever. There's no chance of getting struck by lightning either. And the Gorons are nice to you in this game. Oh. 
They call you brother. And they open the city to you right away. You don't have to do anything to get in. They could make the desert people nice. Yeah. I I just found it really weird, right? So I understand that they don't trust you right away, but the fact that you go through all that stuff to help them, and then they still don't let you into town, despite you knowing their leader on a pretty friendly basis, right? Like, first name, hey, we're good friends basis. They still kick you out of the town. Like, that's some bullshit. I, I can understand if they don't trust them right away. That's fine. The Zoras are grumpy initially, right? But at least they'll let you in the town and let you be you. You would think that, I forget her name, but you know, she would spread the word. Listen, let Link inside the city. He is my friend. He has helped our people. He is not like the others. Let him in. It's, just, it's, it's weird. Because the very first thing I, I tried when wrapping up the Zora area, I'm uh, sorry, the Garuda area, was uh, trying to go in there without swapping clothes, and yeah. In Ocarina of Time, they let you in eventually. Yeah. This is like the first time in, in a game where your good deeds don't, don't mean anything. It's just, nope. You're still treated like shit, despite all you've done for them. I wonder if that's going to change in Tears of the Kingdom. You would think, right? Ugh, man, if, if you still have to go through that, that ordeal to get into that city. Whenever I see those animals, it just makes me want to play Donkey Kong more. I just think, man, if this was Donkey Kong, I could hitch a ride. <laughs> oh. Okay, well. There goes that. Uh, where am I going? Yeah, I guess down there and then up the hill. This a tal this is a talus. Yep. I haven't taken a photo of it, so. Okay. 
Okay, uh... I don't remember this one, but okay, it's here. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> Storm cloaks. No, no, no. It's just rock, literal rock creature. I've already fought one, there's no need. It's just gonna... Because I don't have a, a rock smasher weapon, which makes the fight so much better. You don't waste your ability too much. It also sucks, because you have to use ice arrows to be able to stand on it. Uh... Okay. Hang on. Yep, I need to go... I think that's on high ground. Hold up. But that spot I do recognize. I want to smash her. Who? <laughs> what, are we, what are we talking about here? I get it, it was it was a pun, like rock smash her. But smash her. Maybe I'm not remembering this correctly. I think this is where the... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is the quest that we need to resolve for the, the shrine. Okay. Oh, I'm spent. To think somewhere behind all of this rubble is the secret of the hero. I know it'll become really great and important if I can find it. The only problem is I don't have the strength to go on. My belly's empty and rumbling like mad. What to do? Brother, so this is where you've been. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gongaron. I tried to think like my brother and do what he would do so I could find him. I need you to do me a favor as a brother. I just can't sit idly by. I have to help him. Exit there, head down the hill, and you can find rock roasts. I need ya to please grab one of them for me. I'd like more than anything to go there and get it myself. It's just, well, I have a chronic condition. Yeah, it's called gore on shoulder. Very serious. I'd rather not talk about it. Needless to say, I expect a lot from you. Please don't let me down. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's not gone anymore. This is what I remember. Walking up this hill was a pain in the ass, and I was like, huh. That's... that's not bad. Yeah, the reason it's not bad is because I'm not doing the quest. What? Watch how nightmarish this is about to become. Oh look, enemies that weren't here before are now here. But see, this is just freaky. Is this just rock mate, or is this just rock? It just makes you think about, like, what the Gorons are made out of. Yep. No. Good. Yep. This is- this is- this is what I remember. If I get through this without dying, it's gonna be a Christmas miracle.
Note how that did not happen as I was heading up the hill. You will note that did not happen as I was heading up the hill. I have to drop it. <laughs> this is such bullshit. All these enemies that weren't here. Oh, yeah, no. Yep, yeah, no. Yep, yeah, no. Yep, yeah, no. Yep, yeah, no. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That, that didn't even get him. Fuck. <laughs> Where did that other shot come from? Ah, alright, I died. I mean, I went five hours without dying. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Wait, can I check something real quick? Sorry, chat. Yeah, the count is is wrong. It's off by one. I guess I didn't grab the last one. It should be 138. Okay. Yesterday was 137. I think I just didn't save it properly, so. It is 138. Yesterday was 137. I thought as much. I just had to quickly open up yesterday's VOD and just double check real quick. Because I was like, man, I swear I remember it being 137 yesterday. Anyway. All good. Okay, well... well where are they even coming from, those rocks? Okay, well... I don't know why I'm carrying this when clearly I, I can't do anything until this is dealt with. What? What do you mean? <laughs> How did that not get anything? Okay, okay, it's fine, Where's, where's the knockback? Get him off this hill. Okay. Still not off the hill. <laughs> hey, confirm me. Increment. Alright, fine. <laughs> I love how a Lionel didn't cause me any problems with this. Okay, well, let's just resort to some utility here. Um, do I really want to use that? It's like, it's kind of... Screw it. Was that a death? Yeah. This, this part sucks. <laughs> I remember this being annoying. How many arches there are? It's, it's kind of kind of annoying. Okay. Yep. 
It's just, I need to knock you off it. As long as you're on the ground and not on high ground. I'm okay with that. Will that one on the side give up? I'm not sure. What sucks is I can't use bomb arrows because they just explode instantly. Oh, yeah, that works. Dude, stop. Stop climbing that way. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you wanna you wanna talk about annoying? Something that wasn't there when I went up the first time. I think it's it, we got we got the all clear. Okay, for this, where is it? I want to move a little bit quicker. Wait, did, did they vanish? Hold on, I should pick that up. Oh, ah, this is why I hate this map. <laughs> Stop. This is, this, this is so obnoxious. <laughs> Gore on shoulder my ass. Now, Goron knows the process to get one of these. Ooh. That is... Yes. I, I don't have any. Now I do. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do here. Is this a hazing? <laughs> I mean, pretty cruel hazing if that was the case. I think it's genuine, the Goron shoulder thing, but I don't believe it. Nope, no snipe. No snipe. No snipe, please. Okay, we're good. Oh, there's a hammer here. I'm taking that hammer. Don't, nope, stand still. You're not rolling down that hill. <laughs> Finally, I've been waiting on you. Go on, drop the rice in the pot quickly. Hmm, <laughs> it's amazing. This is the finest rock roast I've ever laid eyes on. I'm going to cook it up right now. But it's, what is this? Is, is... 
I did it. I made a deliciously grilled rock roast. Mmm. Am I hunger hallucinating or do I really smell deliciously grilled rock roast? Brother, it's ready. You're gonna eat it and love it. And everything will be as it should be again. Look at this. It looks tasty. I need to eat it right away. Yummy, delicious, incredible. It's going to take Pokemon games another 20 years to include an animation of this caliber. <laughs> I just see this and I'm like, man. Pokemon games really are lazy. They really are. That texture, that crunch, ooh. And that gritty feeling as it glides down my throat. Please don't say it that way. Oh yes, can't forget that savory flavor of condensed minerals seared in high heat to perfection. It's a taste explosion. But they're fun. Yeah, but Pokemon is like the largest franchise in the world. It's multi-billion dollar. And they can't... They don't... They don't do... Of all the Nintendo franchises, I feel like that's the one that's the least visually... Look at how visually nice this looks. Pokemon games would wish they would got anywhere near this level. Your cooking is the best of the best, brother. Oh. Now I'm full and my belly is happy. Let's do this. He does make it look tasty, though. Not gonna lie, I'm a little hungry. Especially since we've been talking about charcuterie boards. That just makes me want the meat and cheese board more. Wow, there it is. The hero's secret has revealed itself to me. Weird, I feel like I've seen something like this before in Goron City. So this is the secret of the hero, huh? Looks oddly familiar. Anyway, what an amazing discovery. That's my brother for you. The food in Monster Hunter makes you so hungry every time. Yeah. I was playing the uh, Yakuza series and they go... They have a lot of food places there and just the pictures of the food, like ramen and Japanese food, man. Makes me hungry every time I play that game. Or if you're watching anything from Studio Ghibli... Man, Studio Ghibli and the, their ASMR for food and visuals. <laughs> Kalima. The worst part about this is I'm, I'm not even worthy. Usually when you go through an ordeal... Kairama! Greedy Hill. Usually when you go through one of these, like an ordeal to get to the shrine, you enter the shrine and it says, oh, you are already worthy. This one, no, I had to go through a massive ordeal, not worthy. Also, um, because it's not, there's no lava in here, this is removed. As that is the rule. Only allowed to wear it when, oh shit. Oh, yeah, this is... It's going to be a bag of dick. I hate, I hate this already. So, I think this is a bad- I thought it was gonna block stuff, it, it doesn't block stuff. This is just- use your judgement. Is, mo is money worth it? Not really. I, I don't care. Okay, this- this understand. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's way too quick. No, nope, I'm not doing- I'm not doing that again. Fuck it. No money. I don't care. Although, hold on. Now that it's at the bottom, is, is it something that I can just pick up? Okay, here I could. Okay, let me eat something before I, I uh, increase the death count. Where is it? Um, I need to make more standard... Oh no, here we go. 
That'll do. Okay. Yeah, don't, don't care. Damn it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, but I can get those. I'm going back for them. I can get them. Because they're, they're just going to be sitting there. Okay, well, you know what? I didn't have to be greedy to do that. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> that was close. I'm not trusting it. There's probably one more trap. Nice. That's a that's a good reward. That's a good reward. Those are quite expensive. Okay, it looks safe. Fifty-two. There's still another one on the way to the beast, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. How many times has Link rezzed now? Um, from the story point of view? I'm trying to think. I think this is, the, this is the only time that he's been put in a stasis sort of thing. Link's Awakening, he was dreaming. So, it wasn't technically mortally wounded. That's probably the closest. Everything else is just, it's a different link. Yeah, this one's just around the corner, I think. Just over here. That's a Korra. Oh no, I already got that one. Okay, that's the one that I sought for. There's another one over there. I can see it. Assuming... I don't have it already. Okay, 
Okay, I don't. I mean, sometimes the the stories in these games are not exactly the best. I still, I just can't get over spirit tracks where the entire time Anjin had the sword and just didn't give it to us. It was just, at a certain point she was like, oh yeah, by the way, I have this sword you can use. <laughs> it's, it's so weird. And then there's, um... Triforce Heroes, where that story, like, just does not relate to Hyrule in the slightest. The plot is like, there's a fashion emergency. And you have to fix the fashion emergency. The princess has... Not Zelda, some other princess. Has had a curse put upon her. And this curse... Puts her inside an ugly outfit that she cannot take off. So, the princess locks herself up. It's not a magic seal. She's not locked by magic. No, she's locked by choice. She remains in her room by choice. There's nothing preventing her from going outside. You just have to fix the fa fashion emergency. I'm not sure why that game is... is is canon and part of the, the main line. It's a bit of a strange choice. So there's those ruins up there, but other than that... I don't think I can go- I can't go any higher because that is, uh... I believe the Divine Beast says no. <laughs> so you can't. But I'll check up here. This is the final point I can check, and then I gotta... Double back and... Pretty much go along... Here. I think along the actual rim there's nothing there, but that's just a vague memory. I wonder if they'll make Link any louder, or is it still gonna be these subtle sounds? I kinda miss Loud Link a little bit. I, I just find it funny. Stay asleep. I said stay asleep. See, like Link running up this hill right now, like just this spot here, be like, Tah! just unnecessary loud, but I love it. The, uh, the other shrine is right next to the bridge. So we'll get there in a minute. Because it's used as a warp point.
Oh. Yep, that's a talus. Okay, market, so I remember. If I'd land on that island, that's probably a bad idea. I would have... I would have to get... Alright, I'm gonna try it. I just need to get away from it right away. Okay, no battle music, we're fine. <laughs> the blood moon rises once again. Please be careful. Okay. Oh, come on! <laughs> Shit. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. <laughs> Don't throw a rock. I have no interest in fighting you, sir. Oh! Although... Well, no. 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 <laughs> I mean... Oh, I have a hammer. The hammer isn't as, as strong as the, the crusher. No, 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 it's fine. I'm gonna fight it, I'm gonna fight it. I just... Oh, this might be a poor choice. Yeah, it's fine. I, I've been through worse. It's fine. Just... You gotta believe. Gotta believe! <laughs> Jeez. Oh! <laughs> Shit. Okay, 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 okay. This is this is this is my time to shine. Wait for the next throw. Now. Get off, get off. Okay, now comes the hard part. Oh. I gotta, I gotta hit it quickly. Before it recovers too much. No, Link! Oh, you dickhead! It's fine. Quickly, quickly. Link! <laughs> Fucking wanker. Oh, shit. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Still good. No, it's not. Oh, shit. <laughs> land, land, land. Okay, uh, he stopped regenerating. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. No, 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 get back, get, get back up, you bitch, get back up. You're not going anywhere. What? Fuck! Stop sliding! I'm just... No. 
Yep. Yep. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's still good. It's still good. Still good. Why am I being so insistent on fighting this thing? I don't have to fight it. Now it's it's a matter of principle. Why is this hill such a pain in the ass to climb? It shouldn't be. The other side, easy. This side is just nightmarish. Okay, 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 okay. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Do I have any more stamina food? <gasps> yes, I do. Okay, good. Oh no. Wanker. Get up. Ah! Eight. <laughs> Shit. Uh, uh oh. Uh. Where's it gonna reset me? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the, totally intentional. In intended, that's it. Dickhead! Yeah, so you know, I can I can fight. I can beat Taluses. I didn't die. I'm still alive. It was fine. Perfectly fine. Under control. Not that one, that one. I'm surprised this hasn't broken, but I guess hammers are just as good. Okay, yep, I recognize this. There's, there's the beeping. Dakako. Dakako. We'll see if I need fire armor. I hear, uh, yeah, this is exactly what I heard. Dakako. Stalled flight. What is what is this monstrosity? Oh, okay, I see. Huh? 
kind of. Okay, that's what that's what I have to do. Got it. All right, that was easy. Sometimes very straightforward, not a whole lot to do. I didn't take off the armor because it didn't look like there was anything, um, like enemy-wise, so it wouldn't have made a difference. Nothing was going to murder me in this one. Sound of silence. Sweet, sweet silence. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll do high ground first. Lots of progress on shrines today. Which makes up for the last couple of days where there haven't been many. This area is really dense with them. Ah, uh, hold up. Okay, that one's already been acquired. Just making sure. I mean, the hammer's almost done with use. But I'm probably just going to grab another one, to be honest. I can't stop thinking about that rock, mate. This is as bad as when I kept killing the wolves in the, uh, the mountains and they kept, kept dropping steak and I just wanted steak. Oh, yeah, the hot springs are underneath me. Okay, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> ah, no, 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 Stop. Oh, 
Is that a formation? I think that's a formation there. Okay, hold up. No! Ugh, damn it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That looks like a formation. What direction is that in? Directly over there. That might be a Korok form formation. I'll go check in a minute. What do the formations look like? It's just rock, like... See how the... I'll give you an example of another one. See how there's a circle? It's like... Looks like there's a pattern. That's probably a circle of, of rocks. And then you have to pick up one and put it on the ground. Like, like this one. See this one here? See how there's dots? There's dots and there was a Korok there? So you can spot a lot of them um, from the map. Like, you can see that. Sometimes you see three trees in a row. As well, so... That, I think that's definitely one. Uh... There's another. See, there you go. There's another one. Right here. Which is an area that I'm going to explore, but it's nice to keep it in mind and be like, all right, yeah, there's, there's definitely one there. All right, that'll, that'll do for now. I swear there was one here, but I might be mistaken. What is this ledge? Sledge. That's so weird. I swear there was one around here. It's not that I know, it's just, it's just vague memories. Way to make that ledge feel self-conscious. What did I say? I don't even remember what I said. What did I say? Hey, Hyper Kirby, how's it going? How am I doing? Doing well. Doing well. Just kicking back. Playing more of this. Progressing. A lot of progress today. And fights. But now I'm just finding more Koroks. I'll only fight if I absolutely have to. Or I'm feeling stubborn enough. How about you? Loki chat, every now and then I'm looking for this... The article that I was talking about, talking about... Some Australian wine being popular in America, but I can't find it! <laughs> it's gonna bother me until I find it. Did I get the one by the Lionel? Confirm me. Not only did I get the one by the Lionel, if you'll if you'll note my inventory. Uh, 
right? If you'll note my inventory. And if you go watch the VOD later, you'll also note that the number of deaths did not increase. I won't say why I chose to fight it in the end, but, you know. There was a perfectly good reason why I fought it in the end. Kind of sucked that it happened, but you know what? I'll take it. It was a good fight. Yeah, so this is... There you go. So that that's the one that I pointed out. And would you look at it? It's a Korok. Easy peasy. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, ha ha. Currently eating breakfast, getting ready to go to work. Ah, oh, cool. What are you eating? What What's your go-to for breakfast, typically? That was... I don't know why I did that. I don't do breakfast that often, but when I do, it's usually just, like... It's referred to as a, a big breakfast here in Australia. I think they have the same in the UK, but it's just... Eggs and then a bunch of other stuff on the side. Having French toast and bacon, man. French toast is great. Haven't had it in a long time, though. I need a Yahaha emote. I wish I had more slots. But I, I've reached the, uh, the very end of how many emotes I can have. I suppose I could make it animated, but then I'd have to go to the effort of making an animated emote. <laughs> the only slots I have left are animated, and I haven't filled them because not good animator. The ones that I've made that are animated are very lazy. They're using Twitch's tools. Just the shake tool. Uh -huh -huh. Blueberry waffle cereal and a cup of black coffee. Damn, that's pretty full on. see. I mean, that's just a base. That's not going to do anything. There's probably something here and here. You skip breakfast. Yeah, I mean, me too. I'll usually have one big meal a day. And then the rest is kind of. Is coffee considered breakfast? Uh, yeah. Well, that's what I was brought up in believing. Like, my, my parents would say, um, back where they're from, breakfast would be... Because they, they were on farms and, you know, they had to work land and stuff. Breakfast would be black coffee, and then it would be a slice of whatever sweet bread or cake that was made. Not big, but, you know, just enough to sweeten the coffee. Because you would have it with the coffee, and that's, that's breakfast. And you know what? That that habit's grown on me because if I'm having coffee, I have to have like a little something on the side. It's just it's a habit. That's pretty much the the time where I'll voluntarily have sweet stuff is just with a with a coffee. No sugar in the coffee, just whatever you're having on the side that acts as the the sweetener and I guess adding extra flavor. So you keep the coffee in its purest form. Huh? 
Uh, I guess we're doing this this area here. Just use cream and no sugar. I see. I always thought creamer was just milk. That was my interpretation of it, but it's not. It's just it's it's cream. So we don't typically do that here. don't have cream over there. I mean, I'm sure we have it. It's just, it's not a common thing. Like, um, the way we do coffee is you have a ristretto shot and then that's usually put into milk. And that is the common way to have coffee. In Melbourne and Sydney, the go-to is, it's known as a flat white. But yeah, you know, um, my parents definitely agree with, like, keeping coffee pure and black and not doing anything to it. I, yeah, uh, if I'm in the mood, I'll have black coffee, but otherwise I'll have it how we have it in Australia. It's just, you know, the shot of ristretto, which is just ground up coffee beans, and then it's just mixed into milk. that thing. You like black coffee when the quality is good. Yeah, I, I'm the same. I'll go black coffee if I know it, it's particularly good. I'm not that, the, like, a coffee snob. Like, <laughs> Melbourne... And Sydney in particular, coffee snobs is is a thing. Like, do whatever works for you and what you enjoy, right? Oh shit, it's up there. I got I got tricked. This is just a chest. Oh, but it's a good chest. Alright, excellent. But me getting breakfast is, is typically like, if I know I'm gonna have a big day... That's when I'll be like, alright, I'm getting breakfast, because it, it kind of gets me up, you know, and doing stuff sooner. Um, okay, hold up. E where is this gonna lead me? Wait, where is this? Oh, down there. Okay, that's fine. Hang on. Reset it. There we go. Just make sure it gets the max time. Yeah, you're the one who has to drink it, so it's whatever you like. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it's the same with other stuff in general, it's like food. Um, like, people will get very particular about certain food, and because of origins, right, like, respecting where it's from, that's fine, but I would never get particular about a person not enjoying it in the way that's quite traditional. Okay, well, this this back to Goron City. 
I think the rib cage has one. Like, uh... And I know s some people that think it's, it's just blasphemy on a pizza to, uh... To have stuff like chicken on it, for example. So not even like the pineapple thing, right? The pineapple thing, that's just... That's worse to them, but... They're like, very purist and go, chicken shouldn't be on a pizza. And that it should be... Well, what did I say? It was like pork, mainly. Or just minor ingredients. Buffalo chicken pizza. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. There's, you can still... It's not like it's bad, it's just... This is someone that's very traditional and is like... If someone was eating a buffalo chicken pizza in front of them, they'd be like, You know that's not traditional, right? Who, who cares, dude? It's... Judge it by merit. How it tastes. How... Maybe a large group of people enjoy it that way. Yeah, I mean, the, there's, there's a place, um... It's not close to me, but at any time I'm in the area, they claim to be authentic New York Slice, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. They have this whole backstory about coming from New York. The place is called Sal's, so it's, it's like... There's some... There's some naming convention to it that makes sense, but I don't know. It feels like marketing fluff, but they do the uh, buffalo chicken slice, which is good. If people weren't buying it, they wouldn't make it. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, there, there are countries that have strange ways of doing pizza, like... The, uh... What we do here in Australia with the, uh, putting egg on pizza, some people think that's strange. And then, in Sweden, they do banana and curry on a pizza. Um... And then Brazil, man, Brazilian pizza is just something else. Is there a lot of grease on pizza? It depends. Um, it depends. Because there's different styles of making it. There's like the wood fire style, right? Where the crust is like a uh, like leopard spot. And those, they're typically not. It just depends on the place you go to. But based on my experience, I wouldn't say I've, I've seen anything that comes close to looking like a New York slice. Aside from that place, Sal's, but even then, I'm, I'm not convinced that's proper. It has a lot of grease. Okay, then, yeah, it's not proper. <laughs> if you rub it against a piece of paper and you don't see through it like a window, then it's not good. Oh, it's up ahead. I was gonna say, where was the one that I marked? It's, it's up ahead. It's up ahead. Link, please, just step over it. It's fine. The grease just runs off the pizza when you pick it up. Oh, man. You know... There's a bad connotation to grease, but sometimes... Just hearing that, you just have a, a... This is this is a talus, isn't it? No? Okay. I still want that. Mm. 
The other thing, like a calzone as well, like that appeals to me, the concept of that. But there's not many places that do them here. Calzone or calzone, whatever it is. I blame Seinfeld for that one. I always saw that episode and was like, man, that, that sounds good. What is that? I want that. Those are good with pepperoni. So much cheese. Yeah, that's, that sounds great. Oh, it's here. Oh, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, um, the egg on pizza, it's just, you just crack an egg over it, and then the egg cooks when it, you know, goes in the oven, right? So it's like a drizzled egg of, over it. And that's known as the Aussie, the Aussie pizza. I mean, it's just imagine bacon and eggs, or ham and eggs, it's basically what it is. And then it has onion as well, typically. It's, it's all right. Like it's, it's, I don't think it's anything special, but I know that it's definitely not a thing that is done in America. Because the first time I talked about it to an American, they were weirded out. They're like, "What? Why would you put egg?" And they had this, this different picture, like um, like a hard-boiled egg sliced and then put on the pizza, like a topping. But I was like, nah, dude, it's just, you know, you take a raw egg and then you just drizzle it on top, right? So then it's like an egg swirl, almost. So every bite has a little bit of egg. And it cooks in the oven. And then, you, you know, you have onions as well. It's not something I typically go for, but I've, I've been to, uh, gatherings where that, that type of pizza has been ordered. Kind of like an omelette. Yeah, but it's, it's very light on the egg. It's not heavy. But yeah, I mean, conceptually, that's the flavors you get, right? It's just, uh, it's more bread and meat than egg. We don't do, like, the, the curry banana pizza here. But it's something that, that's piqued my interest. Since we're talking about food, what's my favorite cereal? So, in Australia, we don't really have the same sort of cereal culture that exists in America. Like, we don't have many candy cereals. Um, most of our cereals are pretty boring, aside from the ones that come from America originally, like Fruit Loops, uh, that sort of stuff. So I don't tend to eat cereal. Um, but when I did, uh, there's one called Milo. Um, U Europeans, you'll be familiar with Milo, because Milo exists in Europe as well. But, let me get a picture of it. It's effective- Milo is like a malt drink. But that's the best way to describe it. It's- it's- but it's not quite malt, it's its own thing. But anyway. Uh, Mar Milo cereal. Um... Give me a sec. I'll get two images. I'll get an image of the box and then... The actual... Cereal, how it looks like. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. It's a stock image as well. But yeah, we're not heavy on the candy cereal here. There's nothing that has a, a lot of sugar here. Um, so, you know, this is... 
Uh, one sec. Yeah, this is Milo cereal. But Milo is is a drink. But you know you can get everything out of it. So you get the powder that you can make a milk a milk drink out of it, right? It's like a malt kind of flavor. But then they also do, um, you know, cereal. They do candy bars out of it. They do uh, almost like a pudding, but not really. You know, like a chocolate pudding, but it's Milo instead, right? And I'm speaking in pure American terms, so you can understand. <laughs> uh, what else? They do a bu they do a bunch of stuff. It's just this powder. They do ice cream with it as well. They do ice cream with it as well. It's just this malt powder that like everyone likes, and it's very it's something that's liked in Europe as well. Um, anyway, the actual cereal is is like that more or less, and yeah, tastes good. Not too heavy on sugar. But, you know. Cocoa Pebbles. Yeah, we call them Cocoa Pops. And, uh, Rice... What do you call them? Rice Krispies? We call them Rice Bubbles. They're called Rice Bubbles here in Australia. Wait, what? This oh, right, this is the rock. Where's the formation? Wait, this is it, right? Where? where oh, sh ooh. Don't like Rice Krispies, yeah. That's fair. It is- it is pretty bland. You ate honey bunches of oat cereal. Honey cereal's good too. I- I don't mind honey cereal as well. Especially ones that have nut. So, like, honey nut. What the heck? Where is this? Am I- That's why you're all fat. <laughs> well, I mean, Australia has obesity issues as well, but for different reasons. So don't worry. One by one, I'm, I'm trying, like, the heavy American foods. This year, I, I, I tried a chili dog. And that was, whilst really good, man, it, it just... In the afternoon, after I had it, it just felt like the life was being sucked out of my body. <laughs> I just wanted to just sleep. I don't dare try the, the mac and cheese dog, which is just, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a hot dog topped with mac and cheese and then bacon on top. I mean, listen, there's nothing wrong with being... F okay. I'm saying fat in the context of, like, the unrealistic expectation that everyone should look like Instagram models, right? That kind of fat. Now, there's there's morbidly obese where it's a health issue. That there's something wrong with, I think, anyway, because it's it's damaging to your health, and doctors will say that. But just the, just the just the kind of thing where it's like, eh, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with being a little fat. I don't think. It's just when it's obviously like a life or death thing and, you know, you're causing yourself harm. That, in my opinion, yeah, not so great. Not 600 pounds, so that's good, yeah. Well, I know that's a lot. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a metric system person, so, like, I'm trying to do the conversion in my head, but I can, I can understand that that's a lot.
There's a show there called My 600 Pound Wife. You watch that and feel a lot better about yourself. Oh my god. That. Jeez. <laughs> Fuck, that reminds me. There was. I, I don't remember the video, but there was some. Ugh. I might be remembering this incorrectly. But there was some video someone showed me that was, um. There was some dude providing guidance on how to have sex with someone that's super obese so you don't get suffocated. And the reason that came up, this guy came up, was because the, it was like a news program. They were talking about someone that had died because of that reason. So the, this dude's giving advice on, you know, what to do. <laughs> it was just, it was something else. You know, the dude's talking like he's on the fucking history channel, like, you know, industry expert, right? Like that style of interview, and it was just hysterical. Just the framing of it, like, you know, whatever you're attracted to, do your thing, right? Doesn't matter. But this dude just, he was brought in as an expert on it, and just the way he was talking, it was, it was funny. Imagine dying and being the reason why there needs to be a PSA on how to sex with large people. Yeah. Anyway. That just, that just came to mind. When you said 600 pound life. I also read that as wife, but you said 600 pound life. I don't know why I read that as wife. Anyway. If I'm able to see shows from here, see if I can watch 600 Pound Life. Don't understand how people let themselves get that bad. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. It could be personal circumstances, it could just be education, it could just be laziness, it could just be... It's a vice. It's hard to say. Um, and in terms of an Australian watching an American show, man, it sucks, yeah. We get blocked from ev ev everything. Everything. Go to a video and the message you see. Sorry, this video is not available in your region. Yeah, like Australians and VPN, let me tell you. <laughs> Every Australian that knows how to use the internet knows how to, uh, to use a VPN. I'm surprised they're not teaching it in schools, to be honest. Because it's, it's, like, that necessary. Like, I... You know, something as simple as... Hey, Saturday... Like, an American going, Hey, Saturday Night Live. There was this thing that I found funny. I'm gonna share it with Will. Oh, I can't watch it. It's blocked in Australia. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of reasons why, but Australia has, when it comes to TV shows, it's one of the top countries that are pirates TV shows. I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to look it up and be able to watch it. I'm sure there's a way. But this would be the kind of thing where I'd be watching a clip and I'd be like, okay, I'm done with that. It's one of those t reality TV shows that makes me question humanity. <laughs> Pirates, yeah. Like, uh, let me let me give you another example. Game of Thrones. Do you, do you know what happened with Game of Thrones here? I'll tell you what happened. There's a company that more or less... I'll, the TLDR is like... 
they own the majority of media rights in Australia. A pretty large majority. Think Disney, how they own everything, except it's it's kind of like broadcasting rights, right? Australia's Disney. So the this company has they're they're a cable TV provider. So they got the rights to Game of Thrones, right? So what they did, they blocked Game of Thrones from releasing on DVD here, and they also blocked it on any digital storefront. So you couldn't purchase Game of Thrones. The only way you could watch Game of Thrones in Australia was to subscribe to their cable service and pay a ridiculous amount per month. So can you guess, can you guess what ended up happening? I'll give you a hint at, no, Australians did not subscribe to their service. Ooh, that's a stone crusher. I am taking that. So, you know, for Game of Thrones, we had the largest piracy rate out of any nation for that show. Definitely want that. Favorite weapon. Ooh. Oh, it's a crusher. It's a small one. I'll take that too. Thought we were real pirates? Well, I mean, Australia was founded on a nation of convicts. Like, that's the story. The British sent the people they didn't want here as a punishment. Um, the main purpose of the show is to go to a doctor so they can get surgery to lose weight. So one episode is a year for them. And so you see them lose weight. Okay, that's a positive spin on it. That's good. As long as it's not something where it's just... I wouldn't say glorifying it, but just enabling and not really... There's no change involved, right? That's fine. Um, yeah, so we're not pirates, but Australian... The Australian nation was formed off convicts, so that's a thing. And, uh... The Australian accent is a result of heavy drinking, so it branched off the British accent pretty much and became what it is. Sorry for being slow minded, don't apologize, please. Can't be sharp all the time, you're watching a stream to be entertained, no one's saying no, you must be switched on and get everything correct and be factual on in Twitch chat. <laughs> be, be the best, like, you can be on Twitch chat. That's it. Do you know how often I get shit wrong? <laughs> on live or just do something that, you know... I like to c consider myself a logical and somewhat intelligent person. But fucking hell, sometimes I, I do shit where it's like, man... You like the accent. I appreciate it. Um, but my accent's, I guess, a bit weird because it's not typical Aussie. It's like... The, the result of someone who spoke Spanish for, like, the first five years of his life and then had to course correct. Like, the schools were like, uh-uh, not speaking correctly. We have to fix this. And then, yeah, just adjusting. Honestly, sometimes it comes out. I'll just mispronounce something. Can I still speak Spanish? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm like to the point of expert, right? Sometimes I'll, I'll forget a word. That's because I don't speak it often enough, but you know, I spoke it quite a bit and I speak it with my parents and uh, I know how to read to some degree. It's just, not the- not the greatest. I- I- I at the very least don't sound like someone who speaks English trying to speak Spanish, right? That- that's what my grandma complimented me on. Because <laughs> compared to some of my cousins, like, I 
at least I sound like I have some semblance of confidence and speak normally. So, she was she's happy that at least I still have that. Um, wait. I sound various. Wait, for you as non-Australian, non-Australian, right? I sound very Australian. No, yeah, I've definitely accl acclimated, right? But if if you were to line up, if you were to line up, uh, like you know, ten Aussie Aussies and listen to them speak, you would know the difference. You'd be like, okay, yeah, I can see how Will's voice is different. Especially when they start going, I, I'm going to talk like this, yeah? A bit more nasally. Or a bit more like this, you know? A bit more of a deeper voice, and uh, you talk a bit like this, yeah? That's another Aussie accent right there. What's the other one? I can't do the, the, the third one. The third one's a bit hard. You almost fail a test because you couldn't roll your R's. You can never say dog in Spanish. You couldn't say perro. Would you say perro? Oh, it's a perro. <laughs> I hate the way I just said that. Just like that? Okay, got it. Deep voice sounds handsome. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot what game I was playing where I was doing a deep voice, and then someone was like, just talk like that all the time. I'm like, nah, it's fine. Sometimes when I wake up, it's it's just my voice is, is a, a little bit deeper than usual. <laughs> I, I forgot... Ah, oh, damn it. It was like... We were on Discord talking, and... There was some word I said that... On someone's headset... The bass level just went really high. If you say perro to someone who speaks Spanish... Wait, know what you were saying. Well, like, perro is, is dog, right? But it can also ha have a negative connotation. Like, if you're calling a person that, then it's not good. If you were to say perro, I don't know. They would just see, oh, it's just someone trying to speak Spanish who speaks English. Oh, no, wait, but there's perro, there's... Perro, and then there's perro, which is butt. So I guess you'd be saying butt. Not like, um, ass, but you know. Um. Butt. Why is this, why is there wind? Is there a dragon coming in, or is this just wind? Okay, keep heading this way because it's heading to that spot that I marked. The other thing is, like, Spanish is complicated because you have European Spanish and then... Everything in Central and South America, like, everyone has different... Inflections and how things are said, and then the slang on top of that, it's, it's just can be hard to grasp. So like, the word apple, for example, the way my parents would say it would be mansana. Mansana. But then, there are some places where it's like a, a TH sound, like manthana. <laughs> would I say soda? I mean, the, the habit 
is, I mean, it's just sort of, but like the habit is, it's a funny one, is just, doesn't matter what you, you would be drinking, your aunt would say, you know, Queres coca, like Coca-Cola. But you know, they could be offering you any other, any other soda. It's like, to my aunt, for breakfast she'd ask us if we wanted cornflakes, but you know, she never had cornflakes, it was just whatever cereal, <laughs> whatever cereal was there, that's what it meant, it was just, do you want cereal? Instead of saying cereal, she'd say, just, do you want cornflakes? So that, I, I feel like that's more common than just saying soda. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just my upbringing, and, but I know that that's a fairly common thing. But like, some people say soda or gaseosa, but gaseosa is the other word. Yeah, it, it, it depends, there's, there's multiple words for it. Apparently I already went past it. I'm more familiar with Gaseosa. But I've heard other people just say otherwise. As long as you know the important ones. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense because in America there's quite a high percentage of people speaking Spanish. I mean, relative, relatively, right? Um, here in Australia, it's, yeah, very minority. Like, when I was in high school, I was one of four people that spoke Spanish. There's definitely a community, but it's, it's nowhere near as, like, a large percentage of the population. Your school was more Spanish? Okay. Yeah, I don't- I don't know if I'd be able to deal with that. <laughs> Do you know why- why I like English? And th this is- this is a reason is like... It's spoken at a more calmer pace compared to Spanish. There's nothing worse than getting into an argument in Spanish, because there's two things that, that are, are bad about it for me, is like, one, um, you speak much quicker, and a lot more shit is said, and it's more intense. But then also, it's just for some reason, I don't know if this is just in my family, but... Everyone has to get fucking clever about it, like, they have to make an analogy to insult you. So, if I'm getting into an argument or, like, someone's yelling at me in English, I'm way more calm because I see it as nothing compared to when someone's doing the same to me in Spanish. So... I'm like, oh man, this is, this is way more laid back. I like this. I mean... Okay, um... Yeah, probably not worth it. I have wanted to improve it and get my Spanish to, like, a, a better level because... I don't know. It's, it's, it's a part of me, right? It's like... It's heritage and at the end of the day, it's I, I do have it. And it's something that I should probably refine. I just gotta make time for it. You wish you knew another language? Oh, you said, so, yeah, I mean... 
it's it's handy, but it's not the end of the world. Like some some people will be like, oh, what you don't know the language that your parents are from or your heritage. It's like it's no big deal. I'm surprised there was nothing there. There was a chest, but no Korok. Okay. For that, why'd I put a star there? Oh, that's right. I was like, ruins, but... I mean, I guess I've already been there. Let's remove it. It's good speaking multiple language. Yeah. I mean, thankfully, I, I know one that's considered a, a world language, right? So... And by extension, it's kind of, you form the foundations of other Latin-derived languages, so... I mean... Portuguese, whilst not identical, there's similarities, so... I can pick up on certain things being said in Portuguese. And... To some extent, Italian. There's there's rules that are similar, and you know I can I can understand certain things, but obviously like it's it's not quite as interchangeable. But if I was to try and learn it, you know the foundations of Spanish help to learn that, so it's, it's a positive. And part of me wants to know Japanese just because then I can just watch anime and read stuff <laughs> like. All the nerdy shit that I'm into, quite a bit of it comes from Japan, so, you know. Having that would be invaluable, and being able to go there and have that would make the experience richer, I think. I think it's just one of those things you gotta pick up and just slowly get used to it. If you wanna learn Spanish, the best advice I can give you... I'm not joking, by the way. Watch Spanish soaps. Because that'll give you a, a better understanding of how it's spoken realistically and not the super formal, like, you know, I'm reading a dictionary Spanish. You'll also see how, like, certain words are, are said under different tones and context. And they're also interesting to watch. So if I could learn any language instantly, it would be Japanese. Uh... Yeah, I mean, outside of, you know, refining my Spanish, sure, yeah. Most likely. I did do a little bit of Japanese in high school, but it's it's not enough to have retained. <laughs> I think. Just anime has, uh... I just retained certain phrases, but I'm not sure they're correct in terms of translation, because sometimes the subtitles, they don't correctly translate what it is. I mean, okay, if you could, yeah, that's a good question. If you could pick up a language instantly, like, it got beamed into your brain. We have new technology, and every person has the capacity to have three languages in their brain. What three would you pick? I mean, you already have English, so I guess what's the other two? 
Mandarin is, uh, yeah, that's a very useful language. However, it is, it is really, really complex in terms of pronunciation. Um, a co-worker showed me there's like this, this story that's written in Mandarin and it's the same word repeated over and over again, but the way it's pronounced makes the sto- make- it makes a story. So it's the same word over and over again, but the differences in how that word is said makes it form, you know, a different word. But it's all spelt- it, it's, it's, it's just- yeah, it's crazy. It's a very difficult language to pick up. But that that's amicable, picking those, because they're, I guess, the ones that have highest reach. But the, the thing is, the thing with Mandarin is, it's like, it's... The reason it's considered a world language is because it goes by population, right? So, they have a large population. And therefore, by extension, that's why a large percentage of the Earth's population speaks it. But in terms of number of countries that speak it as a primary language, it's not that high. Um, I forget which languages are up. Like, I think French, Spanish, and what's the other one? I know those ones are, are spoken in more countries. English, Spanish, Mandarin, you could talk to almost every person. Yeah, I mean, you'd be missing out on Germanic-based languages. If you know Spanish, you can pick up Italian and French. French, sort of. French is a weird one. I found that, um... It's, it's not... Like, the rules are, are similar, but it's, it's like... I found it hard to find, you know, if I listen to someone speaking French, it's really hard for me to pick up what they're saying. It's not an accent thing, it's just the words being said, like... I can't draw a connection and and make it similar. But from a technical standpoint, like, they have the same rules and foundation. It's just, it's not as interchangeable. Whereas in uh, Portuguese and Italian, there are words that I can straight up recognize and be like, alright, that's what they mean. Right? It's also, um, the f weird thing about Spanish as well is, um, it has similarities with Arabic because of, uh, at a certain point, you know, there was, uh, I forgot what it, what it was historically, but more or less, yeah, there was, uh, an invasion, and I guess some of that language creeped into the, uh, the Spanish dialect. So there's, there's similar languages. Certain words are, pr are pretty similar. French sounds beautiful. But is it the accent or is it the language? That That is the question. I think, I think what it comes down to as well is like your own concept of what is exotic. Because to me, for example, like, in Australia, you don't get too many accents from northern, northern part of Europe. So, like, you know, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, those, those kind of countries, right? The Scandinavian and around there. 
So hearing that to me, it, it sounds nice because I don't hear it often. It's 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 rare. That's not something I hear. But you know, to someone in Europe, that's probably not the case. It's I like my accent would probably sound more exotic, right? I'm going to take a look at this map and see where I'm at. Because I feel like I've done good coverage of this. Now I just... I had a feeling that the, the mountain area would be fine. <laughs> Slowly and whispering French sounds is like, okay, it's sexy time. Yeah, fair enough. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> if someone were to, to whisper, like, omelette du fromage. Which, I, I, a French person told me that it doesn't even make sense, but that's the French that I know from uh, Dexter's lab. Love Dexter. Dexter was, uh, yeah, great. I loved all the, the Cartoon Network shows from that era. Dexter, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Powerpuff Girls, Johnny Bravo, I mean, Cow and Chicken, what else? Courage the Cowardly Dog. It's just a whole bunch of stuff from that era that was great. <laughs> Throwing clothes away. Oh, no. Man, I guess I, I cracked the code. All I have to say is cheese omelette. Or at least a bastardization of cheese omelette. Invader Zim. Yeah, Invader Zim was great too. It's okay, it's the Divine Beast that's doing this wind. But I just want to go along the peaks. Wonder what nuggies are in French. I mean, I don't know if they'd have the slang, but let me type it in. Let's let's see. <laughs> now, if you want to get really romantic, that's how that's how you do it. Okay, let, let's see. Uh, translate from English to French. Uh, chicken nuggets. Oh, really? Nuggets de poulet. Okay, poulet, which is, I guess, chicken. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Pule. I'm not sure they'd have the word Nuggy. What other games do I stream? I mean, I do a bit of everything, but... Loosely, I like my roguelikes. I like my story-driven stuff. Play pretty much everything that Nintendo does, and then... Into retro games as well. Sometimes I'll play a multiplayer game with friends. But if you want a really... Good idea as to what I've played over the last few years. Um, yeah, that goes to my, my VODs channel, and it's all the playlists for everything, so. Well, it's not exhaustive, there's stuff missing there, because I couldn't store all my VODs, but for the last two, three years, it's it's pretty pretty good idea. I 
how long have I been streaming? I think this is year six now. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I started in 2017. I streamed for, I think, six months. And then I had to move to the city. Well, okay, I didn't have to, but I moved to the city. And long story short, they fucked my internet connection at the place that I moved into with uh, a few friends and my, and my brother. And uh, I couldn't stream anymore, so three months passed, and then I got an internet connection that was just bad. So for a whole year, it was there was just <sighs> streams at like 480p, and the chat was like delayed by 10 to 15 minutes. Right? It was uh, it was not great. So yeah, I mean first two and a half years of the streaming, I wouldn't really count it too much, because there were interruptions and it, it wasn't ideal. So I think at, from an ideal point where I, I kind of figured out um, I guess who I am on Twitch, that's only been the last four years, I think. Three, oh, three years, three and a half years, roughly. Where I, I've had some semblance of an audience and people popping in and, you know, doesn't matter what I'm doing, right? Yeah. Oh, thanks for the follow. I do appreciate that a lot. Can recommend the best of 2022. Oh, so you watched that, Messiah? Yeah. Good times last year. Oh, hey, Lanius. How's it going? I... I... I'm asking the question, but also reading your message. <laughs> For me, it's going well. I'm just... Um... On... Elden. I'm just going around. Um... Where is this? That's not hot springs. I haven't explored here. This... I kind of went over it, but not really. If there's anything, there'll probably be something here. Um, going around the perimeter, I'll do it. Just to say that I did it, and then later, it'll be fine. Um, lots of combat today, lots of shrines. So, it's been action-packed. Although the combat, I think, has, has slowed down. But I've, I've fought several things today. The same thing with the one Korok, with the one apple disappeared from the trees. Seems like I'm not the only one. Okay. Well, that that is comforting. But the, the stuff just... It tends to happen to me. Like, okay, today, right? Shooting star. I'm in, I'm in the middle of here. Shooting star happens, and I'm like, oh, that looks like it's really close. I can go get it. I go I go to the spot where it is, and okay. I am I am here. The shooting star is here. Except this is lava. Three footsteps away from the shooting star. Except it was lava. So I had I I thought I was screwed, but then I just jumped into the lava and grabbed it at, at the moment where Link landed. So, I did get it, but... Can't make that up. Have to go to work. Alright, no worries. Hyper Kirby. Well, thanks for popping in for the follow and the chat. Um, yeah. Have a good work day. Speaking of, what is... Okay, I can go for a bit longer. I just have to be conscious of, like, hey, I should sleep. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it, it's easy to, to do something if you enjoy it, so. Me streaming six years. I'll say it's six years. I don't want to, like, you know, um, downplay the first couple of years, but 
The only reason it makes it easier is just when you have people that make it worthwhile, right? It's like the motivation is hanging out with people and talking to different people. So I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for everyone that watches, pretty much. That's the enjoyment for me, and it's very easy to to do that if if that's something that's constant. Even if it's not like a case where, okay, I'm not a gigantic streamer, and I don't think I ever will be, but that's enough. Yeah, this is pretty fruitless so far, but it's just later. I know myself later, and later when it comes down to finding whatever number of Koroks are remaining, like, I'm gonna get desperate, and I'm gonna start pointing to parts of the map where there's probably nothing. So, I just, I just wanna show, okay, I've been here on the map, it is very unlikely that there's something there. Do you enjoy watching? Ah, oh, thank you. Well, I enjoy having you here. It's, uh, yeah. And everyone else, not just... <laughs> not just one person, but... Yeah. I've been trying to get better at, uh, like, saying that sort of stuff more often. Sometimes I, I get preoccupied and shit and forget- Hey, there's one here. Okay, where is Korok? It's probably- Would it be above? Because... That one would be affected by the wind, wouldn't it? I'll have a look. Right, you have a 1440p portable gaming monitor coming in, and you ordered a sw portable switch dock. Went with 1440p because the PS5 supports it. Right, gotcha. Yeah, that's that sounds like a good uh, experience for Tears of the Kingdom. I think all I'm just gonna do is try to get all my shit done that day. And just, you know, chill for the rest of the weekend with it. I don't think I'm gonna do anything special. I'm not taking a day off for it. Because, it, like, even, even if I, let's say, did take a day off it, for it, at the time I would be waking up. And, of course, I want to stream it. it. It's just, it's not worth it because... Typically, no one is around at that time. Like, you know, at that time, um, it's too late for the Europeans, and I guess it's just, it's a bit quieter. So, I mean, I know I got you, I got you Americans. Don't worry. It's just, it's a different time. So, I don't know. It doesn't translate too well from the times that I've tried it. Am I having it shipped to me? Yeah, it's coming from Amazon, so they're pretty good with it. All the other times I've gotten it from there, it arrives pretty much in the morning, so... Because I, I live in, uh, in the city, so... No issues with getting it on launch day. You join around 6.37. Yeah, in the morning, which is crazy. I think you're probably one of the few that get up early. I mean, crazy from my point of view, like, as as someone that doesn't like to get up until, like, 8 or 9, preferably. That's when you start work. No, un understandable. You end that 3. Okay, well, that's nice. Have I already gone? Wow, I've already gone around this. Okay, that's fine. Keep going, keep going. I have found the Korok, so this wasn't a waste. Yeah, 
you have a non-rigid sleep schedule, like, you work up to the stream, but usually you're up when I, when I start. Yes. I mean, that's the thing that I think that surprised me the most, was, like, when I... So, my... My thoughts when I started streaming was like, oh, my audience is going to be primarily Australian and European. But I did not expect that many Americans to be up that late or up that early. I mean, I just figured if you're going to work, you're not going to watch the stream. But I guess COVID changed that as well. It's like work from home is more of a thing now. Alright, that's a full lap. So, the only thing I haven't done is the actual, um, doing the quest. There's a shrine here, right? Like, I, I should do this, or is this something that I should leave? I can't remember. I think this is something that I should leave. <laughs> Is it Twitch yet popping? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you watch when you work. Is it Twitch yet? Quite a few people do. Since you, you, since you're an EMT for rural service, as long as you live within 15 minutes of the ambulance, you just stay home until the pager goes off. Right. The shrine is part of the Divine Beast start, but it doesn't force you to finish it. Like... You just do the shrine and then you can leave it. You don't have to continue, right? Okay, yeah. So I, I want I want to do the shrine. So we're gonna we're gonna do that now. Don't even have to talk to the dude. Wait, so are you talking about this shrine? Or just go here, like where I'm pointing here. Cause I've done I've done the shrine here. I'll just go there. I mean there's probably Korok there. That is a shrine, you have to do the bombing thing. Yeah, rings a bell. I was panicking because I couldn't remember where the... The, uh... The person that gave you the, the chest piece was. I came here first and I was almost out of the, uh, the... The flame resist. But I, I found it in the end. Okay, so this... Wait. Oh, yep. I know, I know where I've missed one. I know where I've missed one. Yeah. There's like a... Yeah, I recognize this. Hold on. You could use fireproof elixirs. Yeah, I could. I could, but... Not, like, I would have to sit and catch a lot of these things. Oh, I thought there was something... I swear there was something here. Or am I thinking of somewhere else? I guess that's the trade-off I chose. I was like, yeah, I mean, I'll wear the armor. It's not like I'm going to get into combat much anyway, and it's not it doesn't provide that much of an armor buff in master mode. It's just... At the end of the day, I'm still going to get one shot. Pretty much. Like... 
There's there's no bats. And uh, arrows still one shot me. So it, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, otherwise, I would have to bore everyone and just bomb these lizards for 20 minutes. <laughs> Which, yeah, I, I think it, it's fine. Um, I know I said we were going to go back, but just... Oh, crap, there's one here. <laughs> Shit. Normal arrow, normal arrow. What if we get to go into the mountain for Tears of the Kingdom? <laughs> I mean, by the looks of it, they're gonna take advantage of the fact that, like, stuff is coming from the underground. Like, the desert, you're gonna have some pyramid-looking thing rising out of the sand. And I would imagine here there's gonna be an underground area. It looks like that's, that's a common thing. Just based on that footage, but who knows. It's not that far away. We're, we're pretty close. Breath of the Wild has 22,000 viewers. Seems like everyone is playing it. Yeah, I mean, it's a good time to revisit it, especially if you haven't played it since it first came out. I mean, for me, this is just capping off the whole plan of playing every Zelda game, right? Um, I think this, this is the area that I'm referring to, right? No, it's further. Hang on. I shouldn't take it from a high ground approach. Okay, hold up, hold up. Yep, 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 yep. I need to, I need to do low ground. Because there's, there's this sort of cave thing here. Oh, okay, sort of worked. There are lots of lizards under the stone if I need them. Yeah, I mean, I, I know that this is the area to farm, right? This is this is the one where you collect all the uh, lizards for the quest. But it'd be one of those things where I have to collect... I'd have to have four and one horn to make one that lasts, like, what, 11 minutes? So I'd have to collect quite a few. Like, I mean, even now, how many do I have? I just, I just didn't want that to be, you know, half the stream. Or at least half of the first part. I have 25 now, which can buy me half an hour. But, you know, I've been here for at least three hours. So, it, yeah. It would have been a lot of grinding just to get these lizards. When we can just say, look, the armor, it's... Yeah, I'm wearing armor, but at the same time, it's not making that much of a difference from a defense point of view. Like, it's not it's not going to win me any battles. And, you know, I, I did fight a Lionel, a, a silver Lionel, without dying naked, so... What, so what is this referring to? I know that's a talus, don't worry about that. I'm leaving it. I think I need to check high ground as well. This is the area that I sort of skipped. I fought two of those taluses today. One in a pretty impressive manner, the other one, eh. <laughs> I won.
You can increase the duration by getting mo better monster parts. No, I know, but I guess what I'm saying with what I have, because I haven't been killing stuff. That's what I'm saying, is like, it, the process is a lot more annoying. Yeah, so... Check this out. This is what I wanted to show you, confirm me. Look at this. Ready? Suck sword. Clean sword. So you do that with rusty stuff. Do I need to go to that little island? No, I've already flown past it. Okay, we're going high ground then. You like the German names again. In German, the lava stone talus is called Magma Rock. <laughs> That's awesome, that name. Magma Rock, I like that. Almost sounds like a Pokemon. But also, you know, it sounds like Ragnarok as well. Yeah, I mean, English localizations are weird. Can't you even get royal ones from cleaning rusty ones? Uh, not sure. Maybe. Probably. It's just, the unfortunate thing is it's only the ones in this area. I kind of wish that they existed elsewhere. So it does affect its, uh, its usability, right? It's just only when you're here. You find it funny that they just suck the rust off. That just sounds dirty. <laughs> Why is there nothing here? There has to be at least one, come on. Otherwise this, this was just a waste. There's still, there's still a little bit to cover here, but I'd say for the most part I've done a pretty good job for now. I will probably have to return eventually to do a second sweep. Okay, so there is one. It's probably here. Yeah, ha, ha. Okay, three twenty the hill. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's a third of them, which I think I'm doing well given the coverage. Like, I haven't done this, so really it's uh, one, two, three, four. This is tower five. Technically, I have a tower here, but I haven't done any exploration whatsoever there, so. Random question, is there an easy way to understand Celsius? Uh, it's based on water, so zero means... Anything under zero means water is frozen. Anything a hundred or over means water is boiling. That's what it's based off. So think of it as like a percentage. Like, how percent is it to boiling? And if, if you go under zero, that means it's the opposite. It's freezing. And then if you want a, a frame of reference to Fahrenheit, there's a magic number. Uh, hold up. I'll try and find what the magic number is. It's just in terms of, of temperatures, like when you're talking to someone speaking Celsius, right? Because I think... Yeah. So, um, if someone says 10 degrees Celsius, it's 50 Fahrenheit. And then if someone says 30, it's like 86 Fahrenheit. Like the translation to Fahrenheit is a bit weird. But those are the numbers in terms of warm and cold weather, right? And then anything under zero, like, it's universally understood that you're talking about snow. So, you know, 10 is like, it's not snow, but it's it's cold. And then 30, you're talking about, um, you know, warm weather, 86. So just, rem just remember those m numbers. Anything under zero is snow. 10 is like, yeah, it's okay. It's about nippy. And then... When someone says 30 or over, it's it's hot. So, three easy numbers to remember. And then, you know, boiling water is 100, which it's not going to come up in conversation. But in terms of, you know, when you're talking to someone talking about Celsius, it's just three numbers you need to remember. Anything under zero, it's snow. 10 is like, you know, it's not snow, but to some it's cold. And 30 is, it's hot. Anything... 30 over it's hot so that's how i would explain celsius as opposed to trying to understand how the numbers work all you need to know is what the person is talking about zero ten thirty So in summer, you'll hear, you'll hear me talking about temperatures that are like 35 or 40. Just know that's, yeah, that, oh wow, that's really fucking hot. <laughs> and if I'm complaining in winter and I'm saying, oh, it's 15 outside, then I'm, then I'm a wuss who hasn't experienced a real winter. <laughs> yes, yes, you Vikings, you Scandinavians, you can make fun of me all you want. Um... Yeah. I think that's the thing, there's, there's so much of a fixation on trying to learn literally everything about something, but... I think all you really need to know is just what the person means, right? That's it. 
Like when someone's talking about temperature, they're just trying to express how hot it is. You don't need to know that it's going to be 36 or 37. You just need to know, okay, they're saying a number above 30. So that to me means it's like 86 Fahrenheit or higher. So it's hot. And if they're talking about a number under zero, it's snowing where they are. So it, it's cold. If it's like 10 to 20, it's between, you know... I'd say that you, that's comfortable. It's not cold. It can be cold to some. Whatever you're acclimated to. Anyway. The more you know. Who says you can't learn stuff on Twitch? You say negative numbers too when it gets really cold. Yeah. I do know that that's the case. I've gotten used to Fahrenheit, and it's, it's, I don't know how Fahrenheit works, really, right? But I know, based on conversations I've had with Americans, I know what you're talking about roughly when you talk about temperature. That's all I, that's all I really need to know. If I see certain numbers, I know, okay, then that's, that's what they're feeling. And that's enough. I don't need to know how Fahrenheit works. I don't care how Fahrenheit works. It's enough for me to be able to understand where you're coming from and what you're currently feeling. You like Fahrenheit, but you don't like spelling it. Yeah. It's fair. I mean, it's whatever you're used to. I will say, though, the metric system is nice, like in terms of units converting to one another when it comes to distance and volume. It's just so much easier. You like fit because your foot is a foot, but it's like <laughs> the way you convert one unit to the other, it's different every time, isn't it? And then you have stuff like the standard mile, the nautical mile, and the mile, all are different. Whereas in the metric system, it's, you know, you start with millimeters, right? And then a hundred becomes a centimeter. And then a hundred centimeters become a meter. And then a hundred meters become... Oh wait, a, a thousand, my bad. Not a thousand, not a hundred. But you get what I'm saying. It's like, it's the same every time. It's like, one thousand. Listen, leave me alone. It's 2am. I said the wrong thing. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> but it's consistent. You know, you don't need to think, Oh, how do I convert up to the next one? How does the next one work? It's not, it's just, it's always a thousand. And it's the same with weight, right? Like, grams, kilograms, it's the same. It's a thousand. And then volume is the same as well. M milliliters, liters. There's, yeah, it's the same thing. It's all based off the number 1,000. Anyway. You like to be complex. Yeah, I mean... The, the Fahrenheit one, there's more of an argument as to why you would use it, but the metric system, that's just stubbornness, man. <laughs> 
same with um the way dates are written right like in america it goes month day year and i think most other countries they do day month year they go from smallest to largest left to right so that to me is is logical But I understand, I, I understand that the reason it's like that is because when you're speaking it, that's how you would say it. You would say like January 7, right? So one is more from a linguistic point of view, whereas in the other way around is, is, is more logical. And, you know, I understand why it's, it's like that. It's when you're speaking it, you're more likely to say the month first. But in terms of sorting shit by date, I, I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> you know, I've, I've once again started doing another lap because I'm just looking at the map and I'm just seeing, no, there's, there's gaps in it. When you're speaking, you would say the 19th of April. Yeah, but that, I guess that's from, from a British perspective though, right? Like, I would say the 19th of April as well. But I think that's one of the primary reasons it's written that way, is just the way it's said is, is like January 9, right? 4th of July. Yeah, you would say April 19th, there you go. I think that's that's the reason why it's written that way in America is just a lot of people would would say it that way like month first then thing Just get rid of the of yeah I mean it's fine that one's just you know it's just a difference of opinion yeah, 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 MMDD is superior. <laughs> that's, that's like a computer science perspective right there. I, I could see an, I could see an argument for it. I, I, I can, I see, I see all the perspective when it comes to that, right? Like I see the argument for it and I see the argument against it. But, you know, the one thing that I'm just like, man, come on. The metric system, it's its just, that's the one where I can't, I can't give it to you. Like, that's, that's just being stubborn. The other ones, it's like, it's definitely, it's, it's more um, subjective, right? And you, there's rational reasons you can give as to why you do it that way. But the metric system, man, I, I can't. <laughs> I just... I watched this video that breaks down how to convert from one unit in the Imperial system to the other. And I was like, how the fuck do you keep this, keep up with this? Like, how can you memorize this? It's different every, every unit you go to. And then when they started describing the difference between a standard mile, a nautical mile, and a mile, I was like, nah, I'm done. This is, this is, this is not the way. You have metric and imperial, right, because you have imperial for weight and metric for distance, if I'm not mistaken. You mix it up when you feel like it. Okay, well then, fuck consistency.
I'm trying not to fight the Lionel again, so I'm taking a a path that'll hopefully let me avoid all that. But I think this might be a waste of time, what I'm doing. Wait, where am I? No, I'm facing the wrong way. Yeah, I don't know then. Australia used to use uh, the same system, but then we swapped and uh, everything is metric. We also used to have the same currency, but then yeah, swapped to Australian dollars. I think I've made a huge mistake here. <laughs> this terrain, it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't look great. I should have just gone to the shrine, I'm sorry. Pints of beer, liters of petrol. Yeah, you know what? But when it comes to beer, we say pints as well. But I think that's just because it's it's uh it's just something left over from British pub culture, which is something that exists here. Not quite to the same extent, but you know. But I think most people understand that, um, what they, like, they'll ask for a pint, but they recognize that it's gonna have, like, a certain amount of milliliters in it. At least I think so. Like, it's more of a colloquial term than a unit of measurement. At least I think so. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't have any Australians here to back me up on that one. The UK pint is different to the US. I did not know that. Of course it is. This is what I'm looking at. There is a small land. I doubt this is a Korok. But I have to check. I'm nearly done with this point. <laughs> Almost fell in. Nearly done with this pointless lap. But now I am more. Oh, there's something behind me. Hold on. I was going to say I'm more content, but this is the same thing as before, as another part where you can get free weapons. I mean, I think at the end of the day, right, like, anything that derives from English or... You know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know, it's incons English is inconsistent, and therefore, I guess, units of measurements and how to write shit as a result should be as inconsistent. <laughs> you ever hear the joke about standards? It's a good one. There were seven people in this committee... And this committee was in charge of managing eight standards, right? So one day, one of the committee members goes, You know what? I'm tired of this. Why are we managing eight standards? We should all just use a single standard. I'm going to come up with a standard that we can all use. 
so meeting ends and then at the next meeting the committee is now managing nine standards that's that's the joke <laughs> no matter how hard you try it's just never gonna be one thing how do we spell Lita? Uh, R E or E R? R E. Okay, we're nearly there. The new standard standard, yep. The standard to end all standards. Oh, this is a... Yeah, I ha see, I haven't been here. Because this is a new talus. And I haven't marked it on the map, so I haven't been here. Okay. Right, so... I mean, there's a bridge, but probably nothing. Should probably move away from this before it messes me up. Okay, so I... Not quite. Next one. Nearly there. Nearly there. I know it's been it's been a journey to get here, but when all when everything is said and done, I can, with maybe the exception of this. But I think the way I'll do it is next time I play this, because we're gonna end up here. I'll go here and then down, and then we can kind of begin this area here. Where am I? Sorry, it's just light. Um, hold up. Should I have gone there? I guess I should have gone there. But this is just the minecart thing, I believe. Okay, don't worry about that. Keep going. This, uh, yeah, I hope it's... <laughs> it's been okay. I'm not... To be honest, I haven't really been focusing too much on how long I've been exploring this area, so... Hopefully this hasn't been too repetitive. Okay, this is, yeah, this is the point now where... Okay, so there's the skeleton, and then... Yep, alright, cool. There is a low ground part that I'm a little concerned of, but let's just... Let's just assume it's fine. Yeah, the Korok's there, okay. Alright, I'm going to that middle area now. We'll see if, if there's anything there. <laughs> nice jump. I think I could make that gap, maybe? Please make that gap. Oh, Just. Okay. Good. 
Yeah, just wait. What? Oh shit! This is too hot. Uh oh. Wait. Do I need more? Uh oh. I need to go back. Shit. Oh, oh, not good. Not good. I need more resist. We're going back. Oh. Yeah, I need to make heat resist. Okay, that's fine. That was almost... <laughs> almost a death. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Um... Yeah. Nope. The fire is, is no joke. It, it kills you quicker than anything else. Which, understandable. Where is their cooking thing? Okay, yeah. Okay, uh... And then... I hope that's enough? Let's just see. Try different results. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's half an hour, should be okay. And if it's not enough, well. Need something? I beat the Ignea Talus. What? You say you beat the Ignea Talus at Darunia Lake? Hmm, I have an idea. How about you sell me that achievement for a cool 100 rupees? Sure. Yes, the deal is done. Here you go, brother. <laughs> thanks, thanks so much. Can't wait to tell Master about the Ignea Talus. You're not gonna ask any details about it? You're just gonna go lie? Okay. Sounds like that's going to work out for you. fine. It's, it's just on the edge of fine. Yeah, this part's supposed to be very tedious. Careful, 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 careful. Jump. Oh shit. It's fine, it's fine. Because you need to do the cannon thing. Doesn't look like there's any Korok here. <laughs> Your cat's applying with the box. It's very typical. If it fits, it sits. Oh, there is a Korok here. Is this part? Yeah, I guess it's part of it. Alright, fair enough.
So don't you need the dude to break in? Or do you just use bomb arrows? Oh, you can't use bomb arrows because they explode. The fuck? Guess we lootin'. Well, there's no shrine thing going off either, though. There's no shrine thing going off either. Is it really a shrine here, or is this just a fake out? Because I don't, I don't hear it going off. There's no. Or is it the one behind? Because I've already done the one behind. It's a chest. Yeah, there's, there were two chests there. Like, I went into this thing. And I opened the chests. I'm not sure why he comes here. Anyway. I guess that's fine. Um, straight ahead. Then I think it would appear that I'm done. I can't imagine there'd be a Korok here. The one that was on top of the building, that makes sense. But over here, this is just like... It'd be interrupting the quest. So I, I doubt they would put one here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I tried. Where am I? Okay. That's better. Okay. Um. Cool. I'm just gonna head to the to the city. fine. Didn't kill me. They just have weapons lying around. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here for tonight, chat. As it is late, and I've been going for quite some time. So, 
This is why we say good night. But I do hope uh, you enjoyed the stream. I had fun uh, playing as always. So we'll uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow and uh, continue. Yeah. But uh, it is a long weekend for me this weekend, so we'll be able to do more stuff. Uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, especially if you're new. Thanks for uh, checking out the content. And if you want to watch more of my stuff, uh, yeah, I have YouTube channels. So you can find them over at shambles.gg. So past streams, highlights, and the occasional YouTube stream over there. Or if you're watching on YouTube later, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, clicking and watching to the end. And you should pop on by Twitch sometime, as I'm live pretty much every day, except a couple here and there, so. Otherwise, thank you so much. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna head off to sleep now. <laughs>